Hello, I'm Margot Politis. Welcome to Study English IELTS Preparation. The focus of today's lesson is the IELTS Listening Test. In the IELTS Listening Test, you will be tested on your ability to understand spoken English in a variety of contexts. So it's important to develop a range of skills that will help you with your listening. A good way to prepare for the test is to develop your previewing and predicting skills. These strategies will help improve your listening comprehension. Let's imagine this graphic is a written part of a listening test, a fact sheet. You are always given 30 seconds to familiarise yourself with the questions before the listening section is played. This is when you'll need to use your previewing and predicting skills. They will help you learn as much as possible before you listen, so you know what you will be listening to and what you need to listen for. Let's start previewing and predicting. Look at the section again. Think about the following questions. What is the topic? Who is speaking? Where are they? Why are they talking? OK, let's think about the first question you should ask. What is the topic? We know from the title of the fact sheet that this section will be about health and well-being. Next, who is speaking? Because this is a section three of an IELTS listening test, we know that it will be a conversation between two to four speakers about an educational topic. The speakers could be teachers or students. Where are they? We could guess they are at university. Why are they talking? We know from the fact sheet that they are discussing a health study. These previewing and predicting skills are very important. You should go through these steps before the actual listening test begins, so you are properly prepared. It's important to look at the keywords in the questions to determine what kind of information you need to listen for. The keywords are highlighted. How many children are being tracked? We need to listen for a number. What are the researchers checking? We need to listen for something about the children's health. How old are the participants? We're listening for age. Another skill the listening test assesses is your ability to follow instructions correctly. If we look again at the written part of the test, what does the question ask us to do? To answer using no more than three words or a number. You must read and follow this instruction exactly. Remember that the listening test is played once only, so it is important to prepare yourself well. Let's listen now. The announcer would start off by saying something like, you are going to hear a passage about a study on the health and well-being of children. Listen to the talk and complete the notes. For the past two decades, scientists have been tracking the health and well-being of 7,500 Queensland children in a unique long-term study. It's rather like a scientific version of the documentary series Seven Up. Every few years, researchers revisit the participants to check their growth and record their thoughts on life. Now, those chosen to take part in the study as babies are coming of age, turning 21, and the data they're provided is giving valuable insights into just why some children are healthier than others. Well done. Now let's move on. Now we're going to talk about listening for main ideas and supporting information. This is important to test your ability to identify and understand the relationship between ideas, such as comparisons, examples, facts, opinions, cause and effect. 
Here's an example. I'm going to give some information about sport. Identify what my main idea is and what information I provided to support my main idea. Sport provides numerous benefits. Participation in sport can have a positive effect on a person's well-being and at the same time improve their coordination. Also, it has been proven to help fight disease. One way your comprehension might be tested is with a summary completion test. Let's imagine this next graphic is part of a listening test where you have to complete the summary. Here's our three-step strategy. Skim the summary to get a general understanding. While skimming, highlight the keywords in the sentences. Then think about the word form that is needed for each answer. Having skimmed the question, we know that it is about a scientific study on the health of young people. The keywords are young people, alcohol, drugs, data, things, happened, how. What is the word form we need in question one? The study focused on young people who have a on alcohol. Before the blank, we have a determiner, a, while the preposition on follows the blank. We need a noun. What word form do we need in question two? After the pronoun she, he, which also functions as a subject, we need a verb. Look at the other verbs. The verbs pointed and happened in the sentence are in the past tense. We need a past tense verb. We have now prepared ourselves for this section of the listening test. Let's listen now. The announcer would start off by saying something like, you are going to hear a professor talking about his investigation into the mental and physical health of young people. Listen to the talk and complete the summary. For me, it's, it's compelling. It's totally compelling. You look at someone at 21 who, say, has a dependence on alcohol or is using illicit drugs or has a serious mental illness or is violent and perhaps already in prison. And you look back through 21 years of that person's life, you've collected data periodically and you look at the range of things that have happened to that person and the ways that person's responded. Well done. If you practice your listening skills and strategies, you will be better prepared for the IELTS listening test. Always remember our three-step strategy for summary completion tasks. Skim the summary to get a general understanding. Remember, a summary is a short presentation of what you hear. While skimming, highlight the keywords in the sentences. Choose the correct word form, noun, adjective, verb, adverb, that's needed. Remember, look before and after the blank space. The strategies for answering questions that test this skill are covered on our Study English website. Just go to abcasiapacific.com slash studyenglish. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.